My understanding of engaged research when it is within the context of community is that it is research that is done in partnership with communities and the expertise that communities bring to the research project count alongside the expertise that academic researchers bring to the project. The partnership began when I heard um, during my campaign that we had so many children, 3,300 children in Chapel Hill who weren't receiving um, food during the summer and that we had the longest summer coming up, 11 weeks for these kids. Uh, and I had been a former school board member and I'd never connected the dots that we had so many children who weren't receiving those meals. And in digging, I found out that the school system could prepare the meals and they would get federally reimbursed for the meals, but they had a distribution problem. I was connected with the um, UNC Stamp Ed program and No Kid Hungry North Carolina at the UNC Center for Health Promotion and Disease Prevention. And one of the programs focused on by No Kid Hungry North Carolina is the Summer Meals program. So that's how I ended up getting connected with the Food for the Summer Partnership. And it's a program that I'm very interested in now, and I'm hoping to be able to do my dissertation on this topic. I went around asking everyone to join the table in December and then January we held our first meeting and we learned a lot and we brought the school system in as well they had the information of where these children were they couldn't share directly with us and through all those um, contacting everyone the um, DPI came to the table to help make us help us figure out how to do this as well some of the things I had worked on this past summer were nutrition education at summer meal sites so we distributed educational materials at a variety of our open sites at two of the summer camp sites that were serving summer meals we did a series of nutrition education classes for the kids and we partnered with the, um, the school who is providing the meals to provide special produce items for the kids to taste test so they had the opportunity to try things like sugar snap peas and colored cauliflower and then we did um, nutrition education activities in addition to those tastings. We didn't have the answers as far as my office, but we knew that the group could, so we welcome all ideas, and I try to make sure everyone has an equal voice at the table. Uh, I think that's really important for sustaining the relationships is to know that everyone's welcome, that we are consistent, that we are meeting, and that we are, con that we are determined to carry forward. <laughs> Um, I think another thing that's important is having shared goals. Mm -hmm. um, so that's something we also talk about at the meetings is, um, okay, so what are our goals for this year and what is it that we're trying to accomplish so that way everyone knows what we're working towards. The unintended benefits are what were so mm -hmm. heartwarming to me. The fact that so many, 650 volunteers mm -hmm. came out <laughs> that wanted to do this and the mm -hmm. connections they made with each other, um, the volunteer and the recipient and back and forth, mm -hmm. I think the volunteers got more out of it than they anticipated they yeah. would receive too. <laughs> Um, and just connecting people with own parts of their community that might not be as aware of. And I think for the students, they mm -hmm. got not only the food and some enrichment pieces, mm -hmm. they got to see that their community cared about them. Mm -hmm. uh, and that was huge. I, I, get, I get stories back and forth, both from people who volunteered and mm -hmm. from kids who were in the program saying, that was really wonderful, is basically the sentiment, and that's mm -hmm. what it was. In doing engaged research, they will begin to see the impact that their research is having in the communities um, and oftentimes in the world because they are working alongside communities to produce knowledge about problems that are important to the communities, as I mentioned, community-defined problems. And so graduate students that I've talked with find that um, incredibly um, um, important. Um, to know that they're working alongside people in communities um, to make a difference.